Evening y'all. Welcome to the channel. Outdoors with us. Evening. There's Bug back there. He was trying to take a picture of the place. And uh, you can kind of see in the background of what our hunting club looks like now. It's kind of uh, all gone. The sun's rather, rather bright at the moment. But uh, let me flip y'all around here. Well, there's our club now. Oh, it used to be pine trees. Yep. Property goes on over the hill there. Real about a, over a hill and low. Probably about sea. another 50, 60 acres on the, over the hill. And of course, there's the property line. If you, if you look way back yonder, you can see a ladder stand. We didn't even know it was here. Yeah. Hit yeah. straight, straight across. see it or not yeah y'all yeah, see it way over we went to check it out because we wasn't sure about it yeah it's been there for many years it's done dilapidated and on a dead tree and everything else many years but uh they clear cut 116 acres wasn't it i think it is 115 16 yeah, acres 116 acres. and uh so they cut half of our club because we ain't got but like two 220 Yep. Something like that. You can see my shoulder straightened out. We get in here this winter. Y'all wish us luck slinging arrows across this. Yeah, we're gonna have a shoot them a fur piece. But uh, but anyway, me and Bo were just walking around examining the place. We then walked about a mile. Yeah, they, we had some trees that had our fire box, had our ladders on them. But we thought they was gonna leave, but they come cut the trees. But they was good enough to lay our ladders down. Yeah, they took everything off the trees. But uh, they did say that they was going to leave the trees if we would mark them. So we went and hung ribbon around like we supposed to do all that good stuff. But I guess they needed them four trees. I guess so. So they come and took it all down for us. But they were good. They didn't tear up nothing. They laid it down to the side. And uh, to be a clear cut, it's actually pretty cleaned up. Yeah, I mean. Compared to what I have seen. You, I mean, this is good as you gonna get and uh about two more years we won't even know where the hills are anymore no it'll be all growed up over our heads and briars deer love it <laughs> we just had to keep us our roads cut in or yep. spray it in do something with it anyway but uh but anywho luckily y'all see them pine trees over yonder we can still hunt that yeah that's still our property that there in front of the truck is the actual property line and then right across the top of my truck the property line kind of veers off to the right Looks like a hill in there. yeah and uh so all that's still standing there is ours we still got like i said about about 105 acres left that's still in timber that they thinned last year yeah last year last fall or last uh, spring yeah last about this time last year yep so they're saying they're gonna come back by uh, probably about this time next year and they're gonna wipe out the rest of it so they're saying we just have to wait and see i guess yep so at least we'll still have a few of the bottoms that they can't mess with because it's a smz zone and uh if y'all don't know what that, that's a stream management zone and depending on how big the stream is that goes through it depends on how wide they have to leave a buffer you know from it leaving the trees up so either way we're gonna still have some bottoms that we could hunt if we you know continue to keep the property because right now about the only thing you can do out here is call them up to you <laughs> Woo, doggy i don't know if we can afford to see to cover this place but uh, mm. Yeah, that'd be that'd be one heck of a feel if you had to hunt the wood set on the edge of the wood. Well, now we ain't gonna do the whole thing. The whole that's what I told you. That's a lot of seed. Oh, we never would reach across that with shot. Uh, but uh, I heard a quail. Yep, yeah, heard a quail. I, first time this that I can remember ever hearing a whippoorwill there at the house. You hear one this year? Yep, I've heard them. I heard one earlier in the day today uh yesterday almost you know right after we get off i heard one 
I didn't usually you don't hear them till they get out at night and uh, I know it's an old wise tale but so far it's always been true that when you start hearing a whippoorwill at night the frost, you know, cold, freezing weather is gone. You can go ahead and plant your gardens and everything. Ain't nothing, shouldn't get cold enough to kill it. So, so that's what a lot of you farmers go by. And know, uh, but, uh, but anyway, we're going to get off here. And uh, there's the loader that's left. And the skitter sitting right on the other side of it. They threw in here now. So they fixing to pack up and get gone. But uh, they may come back in here burning. Just don't know what they're gonna do. Sorry about all the crazy zooming. <laughs> Me and the camera wasn't cooperating. <clears throat> so anyway, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna leave it with y'all. This is gonna be just kind of short and sweet video. So y'all, uh, y'all take care. Y'all have a good evening and God bless. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.